Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm back again with the So Healy Jane unboxing. For those of you that don't know, I am Holly or Sewing in Scottish. And I am just a girl with a dream of having a productive YouTube channel where I come on regularly and post vlogs about all the things that I've sewed up in a month or the fabrics that I've bought. However, <laughs> it isn't quite working out that way. Um, and I'm struggling to find the time to vlog, also the space to vlog. As you'll notice, I'm back here again on my bedroom floor, the quietest room in the house. Unfortunately, it is also the darkest room in the house. So if I look a bit blurry or the light's a bit terrible, I am really sorry. I'm really sorry. And I just want to say thank you for clicking on this video. Um, and thank you to everyone who watched my last video and who left a comment. If I haven't replied to you yet, I promise I will. Um, last month really did not go to plan in so many respects. Um, I ended up quite poorly and spent a couple of weeks, yeah, just being really ill. Um, and that meant that I ended up a couple of weeks behind on uni work at a time where <laughs> ending up a couple of weeks behind is maybe the least convenient thing that can happen um, and it, yeah it just cycled <laughs> and got worse and affected everything so April I am writing it off <laughs> it is gone it is done let's forget it happened um things are looking up I'm feeling a bit better <laughs> I am all caught up with your new work um I'm looking like I'm about to have some more time on my hands and we've signed lease on our new house so space might happen soon <laughs> and get a wee sewing room so i'm gonna be, yeah just be planning that really um and having a lot of time for sewing which i can't wait because as you know i well you might not know <laughs> moved here in the end of February from Switzerland and when I came I brought one suitcase of clothes what we could fit in a car basically and that amounted to one suitcase um, and I was pretty pretty restrained on all the things that I brought however <laughs> my February clothes are a bit less useful to me now that we're in May and I need May clothes so sitting down and making some t-shirts is a priority but <laughs> this showed up yesterday so let's get into opening that and yes it showed up yesterday um, it actually showed up at about half past two in the afternoon when I was a third of the way through my last uni assignment before my exam in June um, that was supposed to have been submitted at midday. <laughs> if anyone who's watching has studied with the Open University, you will know that also the deadlines are often midday. The system is such that you can usually, um, you have until one minute to midnight and to, to submit your essay and nothing will happen. Um, so many an Open University student has made use of that <laughs> to save their bums. Um, and that was me yesterday. <laughs> So I couldn't justify taking the time to sit and film, which I wanted to do. Um, also, I looked like someone who was working to a deadline, which is to say unbrushed and covered in coffee. <laughs> um, but I did manage to get the assignment finished on time at four minutes to nine, which was great because it meant I got to sit and watch the sewing bee with my mum. <laughs> so that was a real treat. So yeah, I've been very good. I have resisted the urge to open this. It has sat in the corner of my room all night. Um, I have gone on YouTube and I have seen other unboxings come up and I've just scrolled on past. Um, and I have managed to so far avoid everything as to as relating to this. Um, don't feel too bad for me though, because when this showed up yesterday, um, I had two other fabric deliveries also show up so I'm going to sh I haven't fully unpacked them 
They're also just sitting in the corner. I have had a quick nosy to see what they were. Um, but I will show you them at the end as well. So if you're interested in a little mini fabric haul, there's only three bits of fabric, so a haul is stretching. But if you're interested, stick around at the end of this. But let's get into this month's box. <coughs> now, as I say, I have managed to avoid everything. Although I did see the thumbnail to Ruan's video, which meant I saw the cover of the magazine. So I know it's something to do with cherries. I think it was a cherry I saw. So I'm interested to see what we've got. Kevin's. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh no, it's not cherries. It is strawberries. The darling buds of, well maybe it's flowers. The darling buds of May, May 2022. Have a look at that. You can tell me what it is. Are we strawberries? Are we flowers? Or what? <laughs> As usual, I am going to leave this to the end. Oh, what have we got? <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know where to start. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm overstimulated. I'll put this down. Hang on. Right, so fat quarters. Let's start with the fat quarters. Okay, we're, we're having some berry themes. I wasn't far off when I said cherries so probably there is no cherries okay so we have this one which is blueberries blackberries strawberries red currant print this would be really good to see if you make jam like your little jam lids how cute would that be a little gift bags if you're making jam in the summer it's not something I ever do, but you know, if that's what you do, how good would that be? We've got a nice gingham. <coughs> Excuse me, losing my voice. Nice gingham. Oh, blueberries. This is such a nice colour. Little fat quarter of blueberries. We've got green. Doesn't appear to be a berry. Just a nice graphic green stripe. Oh, I love it. This is so cute. I'm going to open this one out properly because it is. Oh, cherries. We've got cherries. Right, it's this way. There you go. Berry fields, cherry picking. That's really cute. Interesting to see the Fat Quarter Project in the book today. Um, I like them. Very cute. Goodies. What have we got? We have Joe's Tea Co. Ever So English Breakfast. This is some kind of tea. Possibly leaves. Don't drink tea. Ever. Coffee only. But I live in the house of tea lovers. So I'll be generous. I'll pass this on. <laughs> We've got a nice bit of ribbon that is really useful. You can never have too much ribbon for things like stabilising your shoulders and so forth. And as I am about to embark on a mass t-shirt making spree, this will come in useful for that. We've got thread, which is a giveaway to uh, the fabric. It's white. A little gift is oh oh how cute what are they patches we've got little rosy cheeks patches i think yes a fusible iron-on patches from little rosy cheeks and i didn't know she was doing that <laughs> didn't know she had patches on the go but very cute hopefully we'll be seeing more of them because i really like victoria's labels um, and the jeans labels and I think Patches would be a really good addition to her life. So interested to see more of that. What have we got here? Oh. Pat 
pattern. I always forget that I get the pattern in the luxury box. And it's always, like, I'm always surprised to see it. This is the Pauline Alice cami, which confusingly is not a camisole, but is in fact a short dress, if you can just have a wee look at that. <coughs> shirt dress with classic shirt collar, gathered skirts and inseam pockets. Beauty has a fitted bodice with buttons and an invisible zipper. View B has a loose high-waisted bodice and closes with a button band. I've never seen this pattern before. Um, I think I have looked at Pauline Alice patterns before, but I have never made any of them. Um, the sizing on this is size 34 to 52, which is at the upper end, da, 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 47 and a quarter inch bust, which I think I'm 47 and a half, so, <laughs> so that's fine, just. But that's really cute. I'm really interested to have a wee nosy online and yeah have a look at some versions of this because it is i love a short dress i really love a short dress um i have bought quite a few short dress patterns recently um not made any but they're on the, the to-do list for sure so i'm going to look into this very nice now fabric <coughs> wow okay so we have Feels like a poplin, and it is white background with little wavy-ish lines and little wee prints. I'm just gonna hold that up so you can have a proper look. It is very nice, actually. If you can get that to print, it's the Simply Springy by Rooted. Cotton would look really nice actually in that pattern, uh, the polynarus dress. I think um, it's lovely, it's very white, which, um, yeah, is an issue for me <laughs> as the clumsiest person in the world. But at the same time, I would love a short dress in a white crisp cotton, I think it would look absolutely beautiful. I just would have to be incredibly careful. Um, yeah, <laughs> the potential for disaster with that, that is um, significant. But if I could become a tidy person and stop wiping my dirty hands like this, <laughs> that could work. I'm really interested to see what's in the magazine and see what everyone else has made with their fabrics. Ah, there's a really nice picture of Hayley in the front and she is wearing the fabric from the March box. And every time I see that, I just think, oh, that's beautiful. Yep, this luxury box, we have a gorgeous cotton poplin from the Simply Springy collection by Rooted. <coughs> yep, that's a good combination, I think, that dress and that fabric. Am I brave enough to do it? I'm excited to see. The classic box and the mini box have also got a pot blend with cherry or strawberry print. I'm curious to see what that looks like. The fold line, Sewing Weekender. An interview um, about the Sewing Weekender, which is back for 2022. Um, I started sewing in the pandemic. So it's been quite interesting to watch all these events, I guess, like, you know, the sewing weekender or craft shows or maker shows or, you know, people going to retreats and, um, yeah, obviously when I started sewing, none of that was out there. So I'm learning about these things as I go and just how how much the community interacts in person as well as online um, and now that I'm back in the UK 
I guess these things are opening up to me even more than they would have done. Interesting. Make of the month, uh, we have Sally, who's on Instagram at Sally French Scenes. Um, I don't think I follow Sally. She's made the March box classic, classic box March fabric, the big spots with the flowers to make an indigo dress. Indigo dress, Tillian buttons, indigo dress. Very cute. I like that fabric. It's very summery. Hey, Esther received the classic box this month and made a sew over it Giselle dress. Oh, she's so stylish. Esther always looks great. <laughs> oh, that's clever. Gemma got the mini box this month and paired it with a plain poplin to create a stitch witch. Trudor blouse. So the body is in the fabric from the box and she's done the sleeves in a contrast of that. That looks great. And Laura had the luxury box and she made a Megan Nielsen Matilda dress, which is a shirt dress, I think. She's been brave enough to go for the white shirt dress. Yeah. <laughs> As soon as I saw the luxury fabric this month, it was crying out to be a shirt dress. She is right, it is crying out to be a shirt dress. That looks amazing, especially with the green contrast around the waistband. Love it. Tamlin's Fat Quarter project, she's made an oven mitt. That's clever. Oven mitt. Very nice. That was a bit wobbly in the picture. <coughs> Haley's little links. What Haley's been into this month? She's been reading "Confess" by Pauline Hoover. She's been watching Severance on Apple TV. I've not seen that. She's been watching Where the Crawdads Sing and has been chatting with Gabbard Ashery on YouTube. So that's what Haley's been up to this month. Profile is Joanne, who is on Instagram at Hello Jo Souls. She's the profile this month. We've got a bit about Pauline Alice Patterns. Is this this? Yes, it is. I think this is the cami dress in this picture. Oh, it was the first pattern Pauline released. See, I think I am going to make that because mm, I like that. Pattern picks this month. Pattern picks. We've got the sorrel dress by Jennifer Lauren Handmade. It'll be a to-do list. It's very high up the to-do list. Especially now it's been released up to an F cup. God, that makes my life so much easier. You can't imagine. We've got the Makers Gallery for this month. And that's us. That's another box. Love it. Really happy with that one. I think I am going to go the shirt dress route. It just makes sense. <laughs> I'm just going to be very careful. We'll see how I get on with that one. <coughs> as I said, at the same time yesterday as that turned up, these turned up. <laughs> um, this one has at least been taken out of the poly bag. Um, but has not been taken out of the paper, so excuse the noise. Come in. So I have had my eye on this fabric for a really long time. Every time I go on the website, <laughs> oh, it's still there. I still really like it, but it's a bit expensive and I've been trying to restrain myself. But because it's been in my mind for so long, I just ended up giving in. Um, it is a Lady McElroy Viscose jersey. 
um, I think the print is called Starflowery. It is beautiful. It is just gorgeous. Sorry. <laughs> um, so it's a black background. We've got a little orangey coral and then blue flowers. With some white. Oh, it's so pretty. And it feels, it feels a bit crepe maybe. I've never had a viscose jersey from Lady McElroy. Oh, it's a bit see-through. <laughs> it is a bit see-through. How many fingers am I holding up? Can you see? <laughs> um, plans for this. I got three metres of this. Um, and the plans are that it is going to be a Westcliff maxi dress um, using the Friday Pattern Company pattern, uh, which has also been on my to-do list for some time. And what better time than summer? But I think that's going to work really well in this fabric if it's all that good. How see through? <laughs> it's quite see through, isn't it? But I think it'll be fine. <laughs> really like it. Very pretty. So that was my order from Sherwoods. I only ordered the one fabric because this was not cheap and there was three meters of it. Um, the other order that came was from Rainbow Fabrics. I don't know about you, I'm having a bit of a love-hate uh, codependent relationship with Rainbow Fabrics at the minute and it's my own fault. I do it to myself every time that I go on their website and they add the little wheel, wheel of fortune at the side and you put in your email address and you spin the wheel and then sometimes they give you a code and sometimes that code is for 20% off or 25% off. And at that point, it would be rude not to buy fabric. Like, that's just a waste of a good code. <laughs> so, I keep doing it to myself. I think, I'll just go and have a wee look. I won't buy anything. And then I put, yeah, I end up with 25% off and, and buying things. So, this hasn't been opened. <laughs> well, it's been to that extent I had a look in with that okay it's that cool so two bits of fabric from rainbow fabrics this time uh, one of the cotton poplin which is this it is beautiful I can't remember what it's called it's so rare to see cotton poplins on rainbow fabrics that I couldn't resist just because of the novelty <laughs> But also, the colour scheme is beautiful. So we've got green background, but with these corally pinky flowers. And I love a floral print. And I just think that's so pretty. And maybe this might be the sorrel dress. This might be the fabric for the sorrel dress. Something girly and a bit feminine. That's really nice, actually. And it feels like nice quality, too. Get in. Can't get in. Let me in. <laughs> yeah, that's lovely, and I really like the print. Me and florals. We've got more florals. Slightly wilder florals this time. Um. So this again. Rainbow Fabrics is a viscose this time. I think it's a viscose Shelley, but I could be wrong. Um, I'll tell you. Viscose Shelley. Um, this is on the. Let me hold it up so you can have a proper look. That is wild. So we've got a red background, teal, mint, yellow, lilac, pink, white. I quite like it actually which is just as well because I've got three meters of it um it's on the website listed as a new look dead stock fabric um and that is definitely giving me new look vibes it's definitely a new look fabric for sure um <laughs> actually last year I remember going into new look and seeing a dress in a fabric that I really liked and thinking I'm not that fussed about the dress but I love that fabric so I bought it and then about two weeks later the fabric appeared on Rainbow Fabrics as dead stock. And I was like, God damn. <laughs> it's 
excuse my language. But that was my response because I couldn't at that point justify buying more of it to make a dress when I already had one. So yeah, this is nice. It's usual Rainbow Fabrics quality. Like you can usually rely on them for a good quality fabric at very reasonable prices. And plus I like the idea of using up dead stock and you don't tend to see too much of it that way. So yep, yeah, that was my little fabric haul. Um, as I said at the start of the video, I have been feeling pretty unwell for most of April. Um, so I took the easy route to making myself feel better because what makes me feel better is buying fabric. <laughs> So I have bought quite a lot of fabric in April um, and I do want to do a fabric haul that may turn into two or three fabric hauls uh, just to talk about what I've done. <laughs> just to talk about how I got myself into this mess. <laughs> Surrounding my fabric with no time to sew it up. <laughs> um, no, I, th I find going through fabric like this just clarifies what I want to do with it. And yes, I may not have time this year or next year or the year after, but <laughs> it is our hobby and we love it. <laughs> so yeah, plenty to be getting on with. Um, I hope to be coming with a video showing you what I made in March and April. Not a lot, <laughs> so it's going to be combined. Um, and hopefully that will be coming out soon. Thank you for watching and for sticking with me and just have a great day and enjoy any sewing that you get to do this week. Enjoy. <laughs>